In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you're under arrest, Chancellor. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? The Senate will decide your fate. Mace Windu and Sheev Palpatine As the war progressed, Windu was compelled to engage in politics. Although he disliked the system, he nonetheless proved to be an able diplomat during the Ryloth campaign in which he successfully mediated a truce between two rivals, Senator Orne Free TAA and Cam Sundula. His efforts to find a diplomatic solution were less successful on annexes, however. Upon confronting a regiment of battle droids, he offered to have them reprogrammed in return for their unconditional surrender, citing his capacity for destroying separatist droids as a reason to avoid fighting him. Their response was to attack, forcing Windu and Kenobi to defend themselves. In spite of how the conflict forced the Jedi into the role of generals and warriors, Windu held fast to the Jedi Code for the most part. He refused to support the Dugs of Malastare when they proposed to kill the Zillow Beast, which he correctly presumed to be the last of its species. He also chose to not seek retribution against Boba Fett after the latter attempted to assassinate him. Despite his disapproval of Maverick Jedi and the avarice of the Senate, Windu was very loyal to both the Republic and the Jedi Order to the point where he bravely risked his life for both institutions throughout the Clone Wars. Even as the Jedi became officers in the Grand Army of the Republic, Windu remained extremely protective of the Order's independence and jealously guarded its interests against external interference.